It's Friday Night Bourbon Fight. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Friday Night Bourbon Fight. I'm your host, Lance. For those of you new to the channel, this is a series where we take two bourbons and face them off against each other. We have three rounds where we rate the nose, palate, finish. The one with the most points at the end is the winner of Friday Night Bourbon Fight. These are quicker episodes, so we're going to hop right into it. Tonight, we have Weller 107 against Makers. This is an A1 store pick that is one of my favorite picks. Everybody's kind of wondering, how does it stack up against Weller? Both are weeded bourbons. Both, well, the Makers mark comes in at 108.9 proof. Obviously, Weller 107 comes in at 107. I've had my wife mix these up. I don't know which is which. So we are going to start with A here on my left and give you guys some quick notes. These are quicker, so just run through these real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, the nose on A mm, is like definitely chocolate-covered cherries. There's some dustiness there. Lots of caramel. Caramel bomb on A. Mmm, gorgeous. The chocolate notes on A are ridiculous on the nose. Mm. A is fantastic. Absolutely love it. That's going to be hard to beat. Going to B here. B is lighter. A little fruitier. Definitely get those like berry kind of cherry notes with some caramel. But doesn't honestly smell as old as A. That doesn't mean anything, though, because Maker's Mark uses those staves. And sometimes when I'm smelling Maker's, um, th those staves, I actually think it's aged a lot longer than it is. Really nice on the nose on both of those. But let me smell A one more time. Oh, yeah. I got to give the nose to A for sure. It is beautiful. That just like chocolate covered cherry is insane on that. All right, let's go to the taste. Cheers, guys. Round one went to A. Oh, man. That is so delicious. Everything I got on the nose, I'm getting on the palate. So it's chocolate covered cherries, good caramel. A little bit of vanilla. Mm, really nice. But lots of body weight to it. I really like, like A. Going to B. B, definitely fruitier. A little more bitey. A little more acetone. A little, uh, uh, yeah, brighter, like teenier on the tongue. Um not as like creamy and rich as a i don't have to taste much we're going a is wins on the palate so already we have a clear winner a won the nose and palate but let's do the finish just in case here go to a first A is just such, it is so spectacular. Fantastic. Mm. I really love that. Okay, going to be long finish on, on that. It's still going, actually. Not going to take another sip because it's still going. Mm. That's one of those, like, you can't jump right back into that glass. It's it, The finish is really long. Everything about that that bourbon is, is really nice. Okay, going on to B. Yeah, way shorter. The finish is way shorter on B than on A. This is a clean sweep, guys. A wins everything. Uh, nose, palate, and finish. If I had to guess, I'm pretty positive I know which is which. I'm I was just trying to like put that out of my mind and tell you guys which one I liked better. The, I think A is Makers, and it destroys 107. It's like not even close. Um, and I'm not saying that because I love A1 Liquors and their store picks, but it's just not close. Everybody's chasing Weller 107, 
and uh, and this maker's pick, this particular maker's pick, crushes it. So let's see if I'm right. I'm guessing A is maker's. That would be really stupid if it wasn't. <laughs> and it is. A is maker's, the maker's pick, the A1. You guys at A1 who went on the Rusty Water Supply, the, the craft your perfect maker's pick. Um, A plus, guys, you knocked it out of the park. Uh, I wish I could have bought backups of this because it's better than 107. I said what I said. It is. It is fantastic. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Friday Night Bourbon Fight. Until next time, I am definitely cheersing you guys with this Makers. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm -mm. Home run.